The second I read Hita, I knew we would be in a world of chaos once we would get Dark. So Dark has the exact same effect as her other sisters, the only difference is that she is for the Dark attribute. And what is crucial here is realizing that the majority of the powerful monsters in Yu-Gi-Oh always had a tendency to be light or dark attribute, meaning that you get to cover so much ground with dark being able to revive back your opponent's boss monsters, or crash the dark and then search for a good dark monster for protect your hand. There is no limit on the name or the level of the monster that you have to search or even the attack, it really is a 1500 defense or less. So you could technically search Chaos Dragon Levineer or Magician Souls or even Ray. And another really interesting thing is that literally every deck can summon this card even if they don't run any dark monsters in the main deck. For example, you could literally make Link Kribo using any level 1 monster including tokens and then that would already be your dark attribute for dark and all you really need is just any other monster. And in this current format, being able to steal your opponent's spread of plant Drago Stapelia is ridiculously crucial or there are obviously some other applications being able to steal your opponent's Danmari, or at least bait it so that you won't have to deal with the Omni Negate that is Danmari in the graveyard. And Dark is also very similar to Needle Fiber in Sky Striker, as in you can summon Selene with it, and then climb all the way to Axis Code and then destroy a bunch of cards and kill your opponent from there. Speaking of Axis Code, you can actually revive back your opponent's Axis Code with this card, which is actually pretty funny. And another cool thing that is, again, very relevant right now is the ability to just get any other dark monster so that you can turbo out Curious very easily. And that is something that the Danger Tier Elements deck is really trying to do because Curious milling for Fairy Tail Snow or like a Floodgate that you would be able to get back with Griffin is huge. But yeah, because of these things, the card usually has a tendency to trade very well against uh, already established boards because even if it gets negated, then it's still going to get destroyed and you're going to be able to get your search and kind of extend from there. And if it doesn't get destroyed, well, you know, all of the better because you still have a Link 2 monster on the field and you could be able to climb into like a bigger Link monster or whatever. But yeah, if you do play Dark, I also recommend playing Selene and Axis Code just for more punching power, although I will say you don't necessarily need them. But yeah, that's pretty much all I had to say for this video. Let me know your thoughts about Dark and the other Charmer monsters in the comment section below. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys very soon. Peace.